What up? So today is April 14th. Uh, I did not have to work today, so I slept in and it felt amazing to catch up on some sleep that I haven't had um, in the past you know, week or two. So uh, we are about a mm, little less than 10 weeks out, but about 10 weeks from uh, Super Junior Championships in Chicago. Uh, on the 16th of June, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick body update with no food, no water yet. Like I said, this is no food, no water. I don't know how that looked, but 10 weeks out, let's eat. All right, guys, this is what we got for breakfast. Um, I will mention right away, because some of you are probably thinking it, it is a pretty high carb breakfast, but um, I'm really hungry this morning, number one. Um, I am about to do cardio actually in a little bit here so um, just wanted some you know carbs to start my day this morning I usually don't do too high of carbs in the morning um, it's just not normally what I do but I am trying to get around 280 to 300 carbs a day at this point um, to stay full so yeah, we got a bagel, an apple, some oatmeal, and then two scoops of uh, MTS uh, mint, mint, cookies and cream, and a scoop of creatine. And then I'm also gonna take my uh, DHEA. Um, and then I just got uh, 32 ounces of water. So I'm gonna eat this up, really hungry, like I mentioned. My food's just like steaming <laughs> um, above me right now. Uh, well, at least the bagel and the oatmeal. But um, we are going to hit some cardio. Um, me and my dad a little later. I'm actually at his crib right now. Um, this is the first time I've been here actually in like probably a month I basically live out by my mom's now but I went with him last night to spend some time with him and uh, just because I haven't you know been spending as much time with him as opposed to when I was living with him but um so it's kind of cool to be back at his crib the only thing that kind of sucks is there's not much food um I actually was gonna cook up some of this ground turkey yeah, I'll show you what it looks like though. It's fucking disgusting. I don't know if you can really tell, but that shit is literally like green. Fucking gross. Oh my fucking god, this bagel is really good though. Oh, what do you know? Back at it again outside. It is that type of year again, that time where I can finally be outside on my porch chilling listening to music drinking a monster eating my meals um it's about 60 about 60 degrees right now feels fucking amazing outside um and it just makes me feel so damn happy uh that you know the weather is finally coming around especially for work my job um uh, i've mentioned it you know a bunch of times but you know you never know who's watching uh, i'm a landscaper and when it first started, you know, we had snow, we had rain, and then it would be nice. But now, this full week has been uh, perfect out. So I'm getting a lot of work, and that's good because I really need money right now for everything. I still have to register for my show. I think the deadline's mid-May, and that's like $200. So, you know, just got to 
be wary of money so I can definitely have enough for that show shouldn't be a problem but I'm kind of a spender sometimes I don't save my money as much as I should and that's a key for anyone that you know is young doesn't you know saving is so much better than kind of like I know people that'll get their paycheck boom I'm gonna buy this that that I've been waiting to get the week and then wait the next week to have money you know you got to be smart put half away you know use the other half for spending and you'll be good um, but trust me I feel your pain um, basically everything I'm wearing right now was a little bit of a spending spree about a month ago so I feel your pain guys especially girls um, but anyways hit my cardio session I didn't actually do it with my dad like I had planned I just did it by myself um, I uh, actually hit a two just a 200 calorie session I ran one mile to start and then I wrapped it up with just incline treadmill walking uh, I'm really enjoying running more lately um, getting my endurance is so good right now guys it feels amazing uh, I just feel like I could basically run all day like I, I I'll play sports now and I just never get tired I'm always you know I play a lot of basketball and I just feel like I could run all day and it just feels amazing to be back in shape because I'll be honest like I fell out of the whole game out of the winter um, I wasn't like I was bulking but I wasn't really I wasn't really consistent I was just basically eating like shit munching all the time and only working out sometimes three days a week you know and it just feels amazing to be or basically to know that at any point if I dial myself down I can get into whatever shape I want and that's just a great feeling um, but anyways I have some news not really anything big but I'm so excited about this next Thursday I am starting what is going to be a forearm sleeve on my right forearm it's gonna go up to about here uh, in the next clip I'll actually show you the tattoo that's gonna be on like the outside or I don't know what you would call, yeah outside of my forearm and then what's gonna be like on the top for the sleeve uh, I'll tell you a little bit about what it is uh, my favorite musician favorite idol anything of all time is Jim Morrison who is the lead singer of my favorite band the doors for those of you that don't know them they are a 60s basically one year in the 70s rock band um, well a little past into the 70s but Jim Morrison died in 1971 <clears throat> so it just obviously without Jim Morrison it just wasn't even the doors really but um so I'm getting a tattoo of Jim Morrison right here um, it's gonna be like his portrait and then like on the side of his head like right here there's gonna be a lizard with a crown on top of it because he's the lizard king um, and then the tail is gonna wrap around my forearm and then this is actually a story if, if you guys are interested in it this could be maybe even a life story workout video um, of how I got my Indian name it's honestly an amazing story so if those of you that are interested in it just let me know but I'm going to get first of all my Indian name is firelight um, and once again I'll, I can tell you how I got that I'm just not gonna do it right now so I'm gonna have flames uh, over my whole like front of my forearm and it's gonna have firelight in it my quote um, which is my Indian name so I am so excited about this I've been wanting to get uh, a tattoo for a while and uh like the forearm like sleeve is just something i think looks really cool i actually really like how it looks on tim rodriguez who's one of my favorite youtubers so um he didn't really inspire me to want it there but i just like the way it looks like on an aesthetic physique um and you know i was wondering like i didn't really want to wait but i was considering waiting till after my competition to get it because i didn't know how it was going to be for like you know the tan and how on stage and everything but I know they have certain things you can do to cover it up so it should be all good super pumped about that I'm going to Lady Luck in Woodstock to get it done the artist is Tom uh, super cool got my drawing the sketch sketch it out 
for me. He made a $50 deposit. And uh, yeah, so first tattoo next Thursday. Definitely going to maybe get a video clip in, clip in there. But it's going to take, I'm getting the Jim Morrison one done first. So it's probably going to take two, two sessions to finish everything. But it's going to be dope. So check out the clips of the two tattoos I'm getting. Remember, the flame, the fire is going to be on the front. And the Jim Morrison is going to be on like the back, inner forearm. So check it out. All right, guys, so it is 4.41. Like I said, I got up late today, which was around 12.30, so that's why I haven't really had too much to eat yet today. But this is just like my little snack meal. Um, this is just the pure protein bar, and then I'm gonna have an apple, and then this is uh, 32 ounces of water. So I'm gonna eat that up, and then that is my meal two for today. All right, so I just got back from the gym. I'm at my mom's house now. You can tell, still sweaty as fuck. Um, I didn't record um, my meal I had before I hit the gym. Uh, I honestly just forgot. Lost my train of thought, my bad, guys. But I had a foot-long turkey on wheat, double meat, veggies, and oil and vinegar. Um, so I'm about to have my last meal of the day. It's about 10 o'clock right now. So I'll show you guys what I'm having. All right, so here's the focus, focus. There we go. Last meal of the day. Um, I'm having one of these smart ones. Roast beef, mashed potatoes, and gravy. Um, macros on these are actually really good. Only five grams of fat, 23 carbs, and 20 grams of protein an apple, two scoops of that MTS mint cookies and cream with creatine, and then yes, I saved my macros for the day to fit this brat perfectly on wheat bread, and then I got 32 ounces of water, which I've had uh, about over a gallon of water today. Um, and that totals up my <coughs> day of eating, I'm gonna have a screenshot of my macros for the day on my fitness pal so you guys can take a look at that um, so that's coming up right now so everything all right, so as you can see, macros looked pretty good today. Um, you know, I was a little under on my protein and like one or two over on my carb. And um, which um, isn't too big of a deal right now. Um, definitely going to shape that up when it gets a little closer. But if I'm, you know, very minuscule amounts off on certain things, I'm good. My calories were perfect for today um, and I've been very consistent and um, I'm just maintaining that machine mindset to uh, step on stage with the best version of myself as I can bring physically because um, mentally right now I'm totally in lockdown mode right now like all I think about is this competition I was actually watching uh, my friend who's competing with me in this show one of his videos and you know he was talking about you know his mind and it's surrounded by this competition right now and I was watching it I was like wow like this is exactly how I feel it's like every day you just wake up and it's like okay food what do I got to do to, you know, it's like food, water, workout, all, everything's surrounded by, like, my mind towards this competition, because it's like, it is my first show, but it doesn't matter, like, I don't want to step on stage and act like, you know, I, I don't know what I'm doing, I want to be completely engaged. Alright, so that's what the macros look like for today, pretty, pretty good on everything, I was a little short on my um, protein, but <clears throat> as long as I'm getting like over 200 grams, like I'm usually pretty okay with that. Um, 
but I think I was a couple over on my carbs and uh, all this will be like more pinpoint on target once it gets a little closer but if those few things are a little off by just a couple like I'm I'm okay with that um, but my calories were pinpoint today um, so I'm happy with that everything's good on that uh, but um, you know it every single day you know gets a little closer so it's like that machine mindset I'm keeping in full gauged guys so like I'm so like I was watching my friend who I'm competing with video about his mind towards this competition and like I was so like not a I was just listening to what he had to say and it's literally exactly how I feel we both wake up and it's like our minds or my mind I'm talking about myself right now but my mind is just like surrounded by what I need to do to step on that stage with the best I can bring physically because mentally right now I am as confident as I've been probably in my entire life guys and I can honestly say that my depression my anxiety everything's just gone down and gotten better because I've bettered myself in moving past it and dealing with it as opposed to keeping it with me and letting it you know attack my body you know I'm not like that right now you know I'm confident I'm I, I can say I'm happy for the first time in a while um, so anyone that's supporting me and watching me any feedback I ever get I really appreciate it though it may be you know small it doesn't matter I'm doing this for me and you know to, to reach anyone I can if one person watches this and is motivated or um, feels good like that's that's all that matters to me I do this as a hobby because it's fun for me so um, everything looked good today guys um, I'm glad you watched this for those of you that did if you enjoyed and want to see more like comment and subscribe um, I'm actually going to the Cubs game tomorrow they're playing the Colorado Rockies with two of my friends we're going down to the city so I'm pretty excited I might uh, be making a video tomorrow so um, stay tuned for that uh, tomorrow is the 15th so it's Friday start of a weekend and then in a couple days it'll be Monday again ready to cut back my calories another hundred so I'm prepared to um, you know keep this process rolling guys thanks for watching like like comment and subscribe like I said before for more content hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll be talking to you later later guys